Dr. Levy Elias and Prophet Passion Java gives honor to the Baphomet on stage. Exposed. Subliminal images are witchcraft and is one of Satan's greatest devices against the world and the church. Hundreds of millions are spent on subliminal images each and every year because those that use them know that they work. People Jesus has said, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Subliminal images are secrets hiding in plain sight that will be manifested, will be known, says Jesus. So let's jump into the video. Dr. Levy is in the process of introducing Prophet Passion of whom he calls his father. Dr. Lovey awaits with anticipation for his prophet, Prophet Passion. Prophet Passion appears out of the darkness and onto the stage. Prophet Passion makes his way over to Dr. Levy, who is waiting on bending knees. Notice Dr. Levy is on his knees. For Prophet Passion, as he steps onto the stage. Here is the video. <clears throat> So without taking too much time, without taking too much time, I want to introduce the prophet of prophets. Hey. Hallelujah. My own mentor, my father. The man that has poured oil on my head. The voice of God in my life. The one and only. Dr. Levy gets into position for Prophet Passion. Prophet Passion reaches Dr. Levy and Dr. Levy is ready to embrace Daddy. Prophet Passion looks at Dr. Levy as he gives him honor on his knees. Dr. Lovey leans in and grabs Prophet Passion's right leg. Dr. Lovey leans in even further. His face is right next to Passion's genitals. Passion leans his torso into Dr. Lovey, patting him on the back as Dr. Lovey holds on to Passion's right leg. People, Dr. Lovey is on his knees, but it is really not for Prophet Passion, but it is for the Baphomet. People, take a look at Prophet Passion's suit it is full of stars. People, what you are looking at is a tribute to the Baphomet. People, I will bring out the subliminal images of the Baphomet 
on this man's suit. Here is the Baphomet. Okay, you guys, so what I'm going to do is um, enlarge this area right here, this part of the picture to bring um, Dr. Lovey and um, Prophet Passion um, blow their image up just a little bit. Okay, so there you go. So you see Prophet Passion here with his suit of many stars that are on it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cover up his head because we have two heads here. We have two um, different faces here. So I want to cover up his head to bring out the head of the Baphomet. So you guys see this yoke type of uh, look right here. This is um, his left lapel and his right lapel. And he has on a black um, shirt because they wanted to form a face here. So you guys see this upside down triangle um, image here. Just like you see the upside down triangle image on the face of the Baphomet. And this um, image here can be found um, on um, the internet and many other um, images of the Baphomet as well. So that's where I got this one from. So you guys see this subliminal image of the Baphomet. And as you see, the lapel comes to a point on the left and also the right, it comes to a point. This is in representation of the left and right horn of the Baphomet. This is why it comes to a point because it's in representation of the horns of the Baphomet. So this is a subliminal face right here of the Baphomet. So if I was to drop in a pair of eyes, okay? And so this line here is already was here. So it's like in representation of the Baphomet's mouth. Okay, so you can see this subliminal image of the Baphomet's face in a triangle form. Okay, you see that? And then if I was to put in the star, and the reason why I do that is because you see the star in the forehead of the Baphomet. The Baphomet is always depicted with this star in his forehead. You're never going to see the Baphomet without the star in his forehead. So I put the star in the forehead of the subliminal image of the Baphomet. And so now what you have is a subliminal image of the Baphomet here, you guys. You see that? This is the reason why they have all these mini stars on this man's um, prophet passion um, suit here. So this is like giving glory and honor. This is like going overboard, people. They are just kissing and worshiping the feet of the Baphomet. So all these stars here are in representation to this star that's in the forehead of the Baphomet. So they're letting the Baphomet know that we're down with you, we worship you, and we honor you, and this is the reason why this guy has on this clown suit here, okay? This is absolutely, <laughs> it's ridiculous, this suit here. But this is in representation of all these stars, okay? Or is in representation to the star that's on the forehead of the Baphomet. They want the Baphomet to know the powers that be, the Illuminati, Freemasons, whatever you want to call them. They want, um, AKA Satan, to know that they're down with him. Okay, but it doesn't stop here, you guys. Okay, but I um, said it many, many times before in the past that the Baphomet is a androgynous creature possessing both the body parts of a male and female. As you see here, the Baphomet in the upper torso have the breasts of a woman, okay? And in the lower torso, the Baphomet has the sex organ of a male. The Baphomet has a penis. So the Baphomet is always wanting to show off his penis. That's why in, in all of his pictures, you will never catch the Baphomet not showing off his penis. So um, they didn't leave anything to chance over here either. So you guys see this right here? You know what this represents? The microphone, AKA penis. 
So this microphone is in representation of the penis of the Baphomet people. So this is all a subliminal image and this whole get up here is in honor and glory to the Baphomet. It's absolutely despicable. It's filthy, but you know, people would do anything for filthy lucre. And these two men, uh, Dr. Lovey and Prophet Passion, I don't even know if that's their real names, Lovey and Passion, you know, it sounds kind of made up, but I don't know, maybe it is their names, I don't know. But so you have Dr. Lovey and Prophet Passion, they are both playing their parts in giving glory and honor to Satan, to the Baphomet, a.k.a. Satan. People, whatever is done in the dark will come to light. These two devils are off the chain. Despicable. Okay, I'm done. This message is for Dr. Lovey L. Elias and Prophet Passion Java. People, you are free to listen in in hopes to save some from hell's fire. But the message is for Dr. Lovey L. Elias and Prophet Passion. I don't have to convince them of their dirty, low-down, demonic deeds on the body of Christ. All right, take heed. Let no man deceive you. Yahshua loves you. Be blessed.